temperature stayed inside. So it makes it a little more challenging from a field standpoint, but um, I was really pleased with their energy and focus today, uh, which isn't always the case after a layoff like that. So we, um, we've been playing a lot of guys, a lot of different positions and um, just have challenged guys that everybody's zero, just like our team zero and zero, they're all got no stats. So um, find the best players to win and best positions for them to play. Lane, you guys brought in the, the top uh, transfer class in the country. Um, I think Jackson announced his decision to come back on, on New Year's Day. Did his decision change the way that you guys attacked the portal at all this offseason, or did you guys have a game plan regardless of what he did? Yeah, we had a game plan. He didn't really – him coming back didn't really change what we were doing. But, you know, I kind of mentioned it, I think, on the radio show, you know, before that he was coming back and then kind of – Took that back because that really isn't my <clears throat> my responsibility or my job to say that. So left it up to him. But um, I kind of knew he was coming back, obviously, and you know he he recruited like he was coming back and, and helped um, put together his team. So I d actually don't know that I've seen over time a player actively recruit more um, to put together a team on both sides of the ball than Jackson did this off season. So. Um, you know, says a lot about him, says a lot about him as a leader. Um, and I've even said potentially someday as a head coach if he wants to be, um, because he has a, a really special, really special qualities. And one of them is to get people to follow him. Uh, when you talked to us a couple weeks ago, you mentioned Walker and Austin having a little bit more increase in reps, which is Jackson maybe taking it light in the spring. With Austin, kind of what's y'all's approach? Obviously, he's balancing two hats right now, but what, how is y'all's approach with him this next four weeks? Yeah, we always go with the other sport first when it's the off season. So um, baseball's first and whatever they want to do, whatever he wants to do over there, and then whatever he has, has left, we take. So he's really trying, tried to balance that and beat as many things as he can and um, is doing a great job because that's, that's really tough physically and mentally. Lane, is there, just going back to Jackson's recruiting efforts there, is, is there anyone here right now who you feel like he was particularly influential in, in kind of landing? I mean, you'd have to ask them. I think that, um, I think that, <clears throat> I think a number of guys would say, especially offensively, um, you know, so I think that the receivers would tell you that, like Juice Wells. Um, and I think even, you know, not just portal guys, but even the guys that came back, like Trey, um, like Priest Corn, I think they would tell you that he, he, you know, recruited them really well too. I know it's early, but what's your first impressions of the portal guys and, and then the freshmen like Cam Franklin, guys that came in that semester? Well, I mean, that's a lot of guys, so I don't even know the number, but it's probably 25 guys combined um, between portal and high school guys that are here. So there's a lot of guys doing a lot of things. Um, I feel like the offensive guys, uh, not as much, and a couple of them have injuries. Um, like Juice, like Diego, and so they're not participating. But defensively, when you look out, there's a lot of new guys. You know, kind of we were talking this morning, and somebody was talking about, well, this player playing this, and I, I reminded them, hey, guys, like, I don't care who plays, where they're from, what year, the things you guys have heard before, we're, we're going to play the best players because, you know, I get really feel really good when we win and feel really bad when we lose. So I'm never going to – play somebody because they were recruited here or this many years or from whatever state, any of that. So I say that with these guys because I think they know that. And I think that um, that's part of why they come here. But also in that I said too, reminding them like how much despise losing and that feeling of Georgia. We try to teach our players like things happen for a reason. There's always good in the bad. And the good that came out of that game, if you guys remember afterwards sitting there kind of, you know, that feeling like, hey, and I said it, 
it wasn't a knock on our players as much as it was on myself as a coach. We got to recruit better because they didn't look like us in that game, and especially in our front seven on defense and our offensive line. So I think when you go out there and look, I think you see a glaring difference in our offensive line and the size and our front seven on defense. So I, I, I contribute that to us recruiting really well in the portal and really that that feeling after that Georgia game and actually the feeling during the game. Lane, what's what's Logan Diggs injury situation and, and is is do you anticipate him contributing this season? What's what's his outlook? Yeah. Um <clears throat> he had knee surgery. Um you know, our hope is that he helps at some point during the season. How fast, I don't know. That'll be a lot to do with how fast he comes back, obviously. But, you know, that could be anywhere from the beginning to the end of the season. And so that could be a, a blessing too. Maybe it's later and, and you know, you're always looking for, when somebody comes back from an injury later in the year, they got fresh legs and sometimes it can be a really good thing. So um, we'll see. And then just kind of going off that, how do you feel about the, the running back room right now? Do you feel like that's something you could target in, in the, the spring portal? What are your thoughts on that group? Yeah, I do. Um, you know, we kind of, I, I look at our team nowadays by the setup that has been created, which I've told you is a disaster, but hey, we take advantage of it more than anybody. So I'm not complaining about it because we take advantage of it. I'm just saying it is what it is. So here you're going to have another free agency window coming up. So you know, if you guys look out there and look at our running back position, you know, just like you would in the NFL, you're going to attack free agency at that spot. So um, it is what it is. There's good and bad to everything. And there's a good thing about, you know, this really poor system is that you can go fix issues twice a year, which, you know, but also you may be creating it. You may have your own issues because – your own players may leave too at some other spots that seem to be good right now. Lane, with the way the system has changed, is the spring format that's been the traditional way, is, is it almost getting outdated to the point where you'd be better off having like NFL style mini camps like after the draft, after you get through with whatever the spring portal is where you kind of have installation sessions? Yeah, I don't know that answer because I don't <clears> – <throat> It's continuing to move. You know, it's not like we have this system in place, and it. Can, I mean, it continues to to move, whether it's signing days, whether it's portal windows getting shortened, and so. Um, and then the whole system moved when, all of a sudden, you can transfer more than one time with no penalty. And that would be like, groundbreaking free agency rules, like telling in the NFL, hey, all of a sudden your contracts don't matter. You have multi-year contracts, but they're only good for six months, every six months. So that really changed the landscape too. So I don't have that answer until they get a better system in place. You know, where should spring practice be? Should it be more like OTA days? Um, you know, because there's also issues about when you practice and who plays where and who goes first and all these things you didn't have to worry about before because you got your own players that you got to worry about going in the portal window because they didn't get as many reps as the other guy or as many balls on Saturday. So it's a lot of issues that don't really take place in in any any sports where there's a, a decent system around it. You, you would never, obviously, like in professional sports, you'd never worry in the off season about, you know, an OTA days who got reps. Brian Brown appears to have taken over um, the cornerback position group uh, just kind of what went what does he bring to the table and what went into that change yeah he and Pete have known each other for a long time um, obviously he played here in multiple sports actually um, so it was really good to bring him back here and I think he does a great job with the guys he's got great experience coaching a lot of players and been a coordinator uh, which is always valuable I think when you teach players at a certain position you've been a coordinator you can teach them better because you understand everything that goes around it so um, we're very pleased with him. How do you feel like the staff that you ex assembled for this season kind of compares to the one in, in, in the past? Do you feel like this is your best one here? I, I don't know yet. Kind of like what I say about this is the best roster, but I don't know if it's the best team. This is a really good roster. 
but that doesn't mean it's going to be a good team. There's a lot of stuff that has to happen from us coaching them, from them buying in, from them putting aside egos, because there's a lot of them coming in, obviously, when you sign premier players that have played a lot. Um, so I think a staff's a little bit like that. Obviously, I think we have a better feel of them because we work every day as a staff. So I do think it's a really good staff. I do think we really looked for guys that would fit in to what we have, much like in the portal, to, into our culture and and how we do things and, um, you know, lower egos and guys that, you know, just want to win and, and learn and get better. Questions? All right, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it.